song in our church right now. I'm not going back. Come on, help me. Moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you my past. My past is over. Come on, help me. Surrender my life. Come on here. I'm moving, moving forward. Whoa. All right, let's take it to the other part. You make all things. Come on, say. You make all things new, yes. Hallelujah. Things new and I will follow you forward. Isaiah 60. Would you stand to the respect of the reading of God's word? I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. If you have any other version, don't panic. I have it too at home. Someone say amen. Isaiah 60. Here is the word of the Lord. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And deep darkness, King James verse says, gross darkness, the people. But, but is a conjunction, a change of statement going into a new direction. But the Lord will arise over you. And his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light. And kings to your brightness the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They shall come to you. Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Let me stop there at this time. Somebody shout amen. Tonight I want to talk to you about the, on the subject of the glory. Um, there has been a lot been said about this particular subject and the Lord has been arresting me to share something that he's revealed to me on this subject of the glory tonight. And now it is my prayer that the Shekinah will turn up in here in a marvelous way. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm expecting God to do something. And uh, uh, according to your petition, so, so shall it be done. Every head's bow, every eye's closed. Father, we need you right now. I'm in need of your Shekinah. I'm in need of your strength. Lord, give us a word that will change our life. Let burdens be removed and yokes be destroyed. And Lord, we ask that tonight that you will give us a word from your throne room. We arrest every demon tonight that may have been awaiting my arrival. Every principality, every power, every demonic forces that would hinder this word from coming forth. We arrest you now. We call forth seraphims and cherubims, angelic hosts in their strategic places to bind and to throw down everything that will come against this word. We ask for liberty to be hidden here and we'll give you the glory. Take none for ourselves, for thine is the kingdom, power and the glory. It belongs to you forever and ever. Everybody say amen. You may be seated in the... In the name of the Lord Jesus. May I just say this real quickly. Um, it is always great to be here. I want to congratulate again Bishop. Uh, I wanted to be for your meeting. I know I was invited, but I did everything to try and shift it, but couldn't make it. But I'm so happy that you have been elevated in the position you were already walking in. Amen. And... Uh, I don't know if you realize um, Bishop Walker has impacted a lot of us in London in the music of ministry. And anytime I tell people I'm coming to Bishop Walker's church, they're like, wow, can I come? Amen. So we, we, we're going to hopefully, we're in a transitional period at the moment. We just bought an incredible building and we're just refurbishing, getting it together. And we're looking for the time where we're, where our, 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 our bridges will completely connect. You can come and be with us, and, and, and you never know, we might bring some people over here. And you come over here, right, over there to see us. We'd love that work. So we, we're excited. Put it in your, your minds, your spirit. It shall come to pass. 
want to honor that um, wonderful sister who sang. Amen. It's good to see you. You're, you're, you're known in London. You're known in London. We watched carefully on Sunday's Best as you guys fought your way out. Just the problem is we ain't seen the end result yet. They keep showing us repeat. So I don't know what they're doing over in BET London. So um, if you know anyone out there, tell them we want to know what happens at the end. So don't tell me who won. I don't know. I don't know. Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60 is where we're at. Um, I want to talk to you. It, can, can, I, can I talk to you first? Can I talk to you? Because I have something that I need to bring to you. And, and the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And because we rejected knowledge, it says you, I've rejected you also. I promise you this word is going to be life-changing. You might not need to get a pen and paper. I want you to write a couple of things down. And then I promise somewhere at the end I'll start hollering and carrying on. But I just want you to just hear a couple of stuff that I need to put on foundation. Is that all right? Someone shout amen. amen. The book of Genesis, I call it Genesis because the word Genesis is where we get the word genealogy, beginnings from. Anytime you hear the word genes, it means beginnings. And in that book, we in are introduced to a fellowship between God and man. The Bible lets us know that when God made man, the first thing he did, he breathed into them, into his nostrils, and the Bible says he became a liveth nifish. That word nifish means a living being. He breathed in the ruach, which is the Hebrew word for spirit. He became a living being, and after that he became, and then God said, I'm going to plant you in the Garden of Eden. The Bible says that he looked at him, and when he looked at man, he said it was not good for him to be alone. Everybody say, not good, not good, not good. I don't know what Adam was doing, but whatever he was doing, God looked and said, every time when he started, he says everything was good. But when after a while, when he looked at Adam, it says it's not good for him to be alone. So it tells me that he says, I'm going to make a help meet. It's very clear. Now, please don't get upset with me, sisters. It's very clear. That God made a woman for a man. He took out of him and made a woman. And when he saw her, he said, this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. And he made it very clear that man was the head of the union. Everybody say head. And so as you begin to notice, you will notice here that there was a fellowship between God and man. So much, the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis, it says this, and it says that on the cool of the day, God would speak to man. And there was that kind of fellowship between God and man that as they began to speak, it was, they would, they would hear him as he began to walk. The Bible says they would hear his voice. The real translation, for we can understand, they would hear the sound of God on the cool of the day. He would come. And so... As he come, he would come and connect. He would connect with man. Now, as we begin to look at this word, we're looking at the word glory here. The Hebrew word for glory is a word called kabod. Everybody say kabod. The word kabod there means in the Hebrew weight. It means weight. It means splendor. It means majesty. And it means wealth. Remember that. It means splendor. It means majesty. It means wealth. It means weight. When we talk about weight, we're talking about something that has some substance to it. And so the Bible says that when God began to speak to man, they knew God was arriving and they knew that God was coming because the Bible says they would hear him. They would hear the sound of God as he came close. It was the kabod, that word kabod, glory. Because anytime God turns up, the Bible talks about his presence. Now the presence, the word presence means anytime someone's presence, it means there must be something that's visible or something that's felt when that person comes. So when a presence, in other words, I can always tell when the pastor leaves a room. Because the presence change. Check it out any church. But whenever the pastor comes in, there is another presence. It's natural. It's natural. It's natural. People respond different. People look different. 